Hello everybody, Brian York with uh, Yorkie Moto Garage. Uh, thank you for being with me tonight. It's been a quite a while since I've done a video and I've been super busy this summer. Uh, I added a building to my backyard. Uh, we cut down a lot of trees this year. I've had some electrical jobs and some other things going on. Haven't been spending quite as much time out in the garage. I've done a few projects this summer, but not, not nothing really major. Um, I wanted to share with you a bike that I just picked up Sunday. It's a, a 68Z50. A co-worker of mine, his name is Cy Moore, he, uh, he's had this thing for, I don't know, uh, I don't know, four or five years, maybe more, I don't know. His dad had it, and they rode it together, and he called me up and said, hey, you know, he said, I'd like to sell this. Dad's need a little extra money. I said, sure, I'll come out and look at it. I didn't think it was a 68 because it has headlight gears. Well, somebody has taken it and changed the front forks on it because it's got headlight ears on it. When I got over there, I think it was a 69, I get over and I see this toggle switch right here, which is the original toggle switch. And then the back fender is painted. The, the, the fenders would have been painted short bobber fenders and they would have been done in cloud silver this one's not the original fender it's chrome it's probably a 69 or a 70. Uh, all in all the tank is good there's no rot in the tank it's all solid there's no rust in it. it even actually had gas in it when i got it so i was really impressed with that it's got one pop dent right here i think a guy could take a little bit of air and just pop that right out other than that, that tank is just, it, it's immaculate. Uh, it's original seat, but it looks like somebody drilled a couple of holes and dropped it down closer to the ground so they could ride a little bit easier. All in all, it's not a bad bike. Um, I don't know if anybody knows these 68s. It's got the long tail right here. Now a regular 50 would have had a short tail right here. This has got the long tail. They're very sought after and they're very expensive. This and this switch paid for the whole bike. I, I gave 600 bucks for this bike. I didn't think I did too awful bad. Uh, it's got compression. I went ahead and hooked the uh, gas line up to it. I wanna try to see if we can get this thing running today. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna come over and get the camera and we're just kinda gonna go around the bike a little bit. I can kinda show you that it's pretty much original. Like I said, the front fork's definitely not right. Uh, the bottom end is a CT70 and they changed it, put the original 68 top end on it. It's got the original muffler on it. All in all, it's not a bad bike. It'd be very good for restore. Um, it's the uh, triple tree right here. If you look in, in the book, it'll show you there's no webbing under this one. This doesn't have any webbing. It's an early triple tree. So that's the correct triple tree. Somebody has changed the throttle on this. It's not original, but I've got a lot of 68 stuff to put this thing back together if I decide that I want to do it. But I'm gonna grab the camera right now. We're gonna kind of go around it a little bit, point out a few things. Okay, so this, on a 68, you've got this long tail right here on a, uh, 69 they would come to about right here and come here they only made this one year in 68 and somebody has told me that on 69s there's a few of the very first ones had the long tail but i haven't really seen that it does have the original carburetor now original carburetor on this knob on this year this is a late okay so this is z 50 a 115733. That was probably like the last, I don't know, I'd have to look at the day code, but I think it's the last three or four months of the production run in 68. So here it's got the small knob on the carburetor. If it was an earlier model, it would have a bigger knob on this. Um, the original uh, toggle switch, which is in very, very nice condition and it does work. And this is an earlier, or no, I'm sorry, this is a later, it's, it's embossed. Uh, the earlier 
version of their switch would have been um, engraved. It would have been indented. You could fill it with your finger, but this is smooth. So this is the, this should be the correct switch and the correct plate for this for this later or earlier yeah later uh, model. But uh, it does have the air breather. Like I said the tank's got this one little pop dent right here. I think you could get some air and blow that out probably. Um, yeah. All in all, the the back fender's got a little bit of a bend in it, but I could pop all that out and straighten that thing out. It would look really nice. It does have the original seat pan, but the re original seat would have said Honda right here. It would the '69 would have had a seam going this way, but the only this only the '68 would have had just a regular. There shouldn't been any seams here. It should be smooth right here, and say Honda here. But uh, the original seat cover is gone, like I said. Um, Oh, I also wanted to point out on a 68, uh, this sprocket looks like kidney beans. They're a little round. Th those are the original sprockets for 68. The, the, the three holes look like little kidney beans. So that's how you can tell if it's an original sprocket. Original tires on this would have been a Nitto tire. Uh, this could be, since it was later run, uh, this is not, this is a Nankang. Um, I know they put some oddball tires on there, but I don't think the Nankang is original. It would have been either like a Yokohama or a, uh, the majority of them this, this time would have been, um, the, uh, Nittos. And then later on, they went with the Bridgestone, Bridgestones. Uh, the front one is a, is a Bridgestone trail wing. Okay, so we're getting back to here. I want to look at this uh, other side here. It does have the uh, original muffler. Looks to be in good shape. It would have been chrome. Uh, 68 would have this little donut in the back. It would not have a stinger. So if you ever see a 68 and it's got a big stinger hanging off the front back of it, it's a dead giveaway that that's the wrong muffler. It would have had this short donut right here and that would be it. That's it. So anyway, um, you know, it's the original carburetor. It looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, the uh, the coil would have been, looked marble like that. And it have a date code on the side of it. I don't remember what it is for 68. You have to look in the book. Jeremy Polson's book states what it is. But uh, So what I want to do right now is I want to take this plug out and see if this thing's getting any fire. I don't know if I can hold this and do this. I already loosened it up. Um, I haven't tried tried to run this yet. And I thought I'd share it with you guys, see if we can get it running. Maybe look make me look like a fool. Who knows? But uh, I'm gonna try this to see if we can get this to. And we'll put this on here right here like this. Now I'm gonna do the camera here just for a second, see if I think that's right. Can't tell if it's getting fire or not. May have the switch going the wrong way here. Let me look over this side, see if I got the switch in the on position here. It is in the on position. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Sometimes I can get this thing to fire. Oh yeah, see there? It is getting fire. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get it up closer here. Yeah. See, there we're getting fire. And it looks like pretty good fire. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and change the plug anyway. And I stuck my hand in there a little while ago. See if it has compression. You know, you put your finger in there and it blows your finger off. You've got pretty good compression. It does have pretty good compression. But this far as I've got. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get a... Uh, Spark plug, a new one, put it in there, and we'll try that, see if uh, see if we can get this thing to fire. Dude, I was gonna do this last night, but I didn't have time. I was tired, I played music Saturday night, didn't get in till late. So I thought, yeah, feeling pretty good today after work. Let's uh, see if we can get this thing to fire up. Okay, we got that. 
I went ahead and took the old line off because it's hard to do the old hand, the old uh, line uh, one-handed. I went ahead and hooked that up to the carburetor. It's nice to have this little remote tank. And I turned it on. The carburetor doesn't seem to be leaking at all. I don't know if that means that the carburetor is plugged up and is not letting gas through or somebody had drained the carburetor before they stored it properly and now it's probably going to maybe actually run. We can try it and see what happens. So I'm gonna put you back up on the stand. We're gonna, we're gonna crank this thing, see if we can get it to go. If not, we'll take the carburetor off and I'll show you how to clean the carburetor. All right, here we go. I put it on the stand because the kickstand's real wiggly. I didn't want it to fall over and bend the handlebars any more than what they already are. Let's see if we can get this thing to go here. No way! You gotta be kidding me. Well, I can't believe that started. Cannot believe that started. Well, let's try it again here. I might, might have choked it. start so uh, I'm really impressed looks like all the gears work uh, so oh here comes the uh, guest Devin York say hi to the uh, Yorkie Moto fans Devin all right so anyway um, I'll probably go through and clean the carburetor later go through this thing really good and clean it and then take it for a ride but it looks like all the gears work in it the bike runs um, so it's not really much left to do I need to air up the tires uh, maybe I'll do another video of this thing running uh, I had a couple people that, that are interested in it uh, I'm not sure if I want to sell it so if I end up keeping it for a little bit I'll get it running and maybe do a video of, of me riding it or but uh, for 600 bucks, hey, I don't think I don't think I did too bad, uh, especially for a 68. Uh, this is a straight guard too. I forgot to tell you. Now on the very first thousand or so, the guard on this side. And I'll bring bring the uh, phone over here and show you. I was going to show you this earlier. I forgot. The guard is missing on this, but the two bolts right here. And here, there's a guard that goes right here to keep you from getting burnt on the muffler. Okay, now a slant guard, this bolt on this side would be down farther, and this guard would be slanted like this. Well, the first thousand or so they did these, people got hurt, burnt their legs on it, so they quit doing that design, and they went ahead and straightened the bar on it. I don't know why they put it at an angle to begin with. But uh, it was a Japan uh, flaw. Went back and fixed that. The first bars on one of these bikes would have been a, very, a lot taller bar. The taller bars were so flimsy. Every time somebody would, would knock them over, they would bend and then break. So they went with a shorter bar. So this would have been the revised version bike of that whole 
if you want to know anything about this, you can look in Jeremy Polson's book. Uh, he's He's got documented pretty well about all the 68 stuff. I won't say it's really thorough, but it's it's a pretty dang good guide of some of the things that they changed and uh, some things that they revised. So, uh, yeah. So I, th I think we're about done with this video for today. Um, let me put this back up here and I'll talk to you for a second. Like I said, I've been busy uh, doing a lot of different things, haven't had much time in the garage. And I know you guys have been wanting to watch videos and and uh, of some projects that I've done. Truthfully, I just, I've just been too busy and uh, I ain't been in the garage much. I won't lie to you. I've been in the garage doing stuff, but not bikes related stuff. So, Anyway, I got this project. Uh, I got a candy emerald green going to be coming back from paint in about two or three weeks. Uh, I've got the engine sent off to a good friend of mine, Daryl Gunderson, and he's gonna go through that and uh, send that back to me. Can't wait to get the frame back so we can start putting it back together. And, and, and I always wanted to do a candy emerald green. The first one I did, I didn't really care for the paint job. The paint was, was off, it wasn't really I won't say the paint job was bad. It just wasn't close to original to me. I'm real picky when it comes to emerald green. But uh, I saw a few that uh, Mike's Mini Trail did for uh, for a friend of mine, and they did a really good job. So I can't wait to get, get that back and get started on that. And uh, that'll be the next project. Probably be here in the next two or three weeks. So I'll get it up on a stand. And we'll probably do a few videos of it. It'll be a fun uh, HKO to build, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. It's starting to cool down here in the next month or two, and I can get out here in the garage and start building some more stuff. So thank you all so much for uh, joining my video, and uh, if you can like and subscribe to my page, and I, I need to get some more subscribers, so uh, you guys get more subscribers, and start uh, getting those comments out there, and let me know what you're thinking, and, and uh, comment and, and tell me what you're thinking and what questions you have, you know, or, or whatever, you know, to make this channel grow a little bit. Thank you all so much. See ya.